Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can create a visually stunning presentation 10 to 100 times faster utilizing ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's get started. Now here, let me open the browser and now I'm going to type here ChatGPT. And let's say if you are a first time user, you can click on sign up. And then you can easily create your account using Google, Microsoft and Apple. Since I already have account, so I'm going to do sign in. And let me actually close this because I already have signed in. Now what I'm going to do here is let's say you already have content you can paste it here and then you can ask ChatGPT to present it in a form of PPT. But since we do not have any content yet and we would like to create it from scratch. So let's do that. I'm going to ask ChatGPT. I'm going to create a presentation on future of renewable energy. Explore the latest advantages in solar, wind and renewable energy sources full stop create 20 pages slide covering every aspect now i'm gonna hit here send and then it's going to create content for 20 slides and there we go here we can see title subtitle and visual And at the same time, I do not want slide to be written here. So let me again ask chat GPT, please remove slide one, slide two, like text from the content and also add more points. So in this way guys, we can always refine or customize our content based on our need. So now we have 20 pages slide content ready. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the entire content from here. And although I do have desktop version of Microsoft Word available, but I would suggest you to open office.com and use the online variant because in case of online variant, we have few additional options available and this is completely free. So some of user may not have office license available in that case they also can use microsoft word now i'm gonna paste the same content here now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click on file and then export and then we're going to click on export to powerpoint presentation now from here you can choose any theme based on your preference or we can also go themeless and then later on we can select but here in this case the first one or second one seems relevant as we can see here the windmill is there so let me go with the first one and then i'm gonna click on export and there we go we have our presentation ready now let me click on that And there we go here we can see entire presentation is now ready and even if we see these icons these icons are also very relevant so let's quickly go through this presentation and we can see here how the whole presentation is created now here we can also see actually chat gpt have given us a visual the kind of visual that we can add but here mistakenly it got added as a bullet point so i'm gonna remove that and then i'm gonna paste it like this and after pasting it i can actually delete this one this bullet point and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make smart search so right click on it and then use this smart search and then you will get a relevant media. Now let me also show you another method of creating this PowerPoint presentation without directly converting to Word. For that, let's go back here in chat GPT. And this time I'm gonna ask, write a macro for PowerPoint presentation for the same content. 
and this time what ChatGPT is going to do is it's going to create a macro that we need to put directly inside PowerPoint such that we do not need a separate software such as Microsoft Word to convert the data to PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so here we can see the entire macro is being created. Now let me simply copy it and then I'm going to open PowerPoint. So here what we need to do is first of all is we need to enable this developer tab. For that what we need to do is we need to click here on file and then click on this options and then go to customize ribbon. Now here you need to find developer tab. So that is available here. So initially it will be like this unchecked. You simply need to check it and then click OK. And then you will find this developer tab available here. So simply click on that and click on macro. Now you can give your macro a name. Let's say I'm going to give creator. Now click on create. This will open another tab. So here you need to paste your code and now click on save. Now here the prerequisite is we need to save the PowerPoint presentation. So let me quickly save this PowerPoint presentation as well. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on run and then I will run this macro. After running this macro here, we can see it have created the whole presentation. Now, the only thing we have we need to do is we need to add images or graphics. For that, again, I'm going to click here on designer. And let's say if you are using Office Perpetual, which is 2016 or 2021 and designer is not available for you. then I would again suggest you to go to office.com and use Office Online. Despite it is free here, still you will able to get designer tool available. So that is really nice guys. So let's say if you have created this presentation here, simply copy this and upload it to office.com. So this is for those who are not using Office 365 subscription. Now in designer tab here we can see various types of themes available. For example, this first one looks nice. In similar way guys, based on our need, we can implement these graphics. And actually you can also recognize the kind of images the designer offers is very relevant one. So in this way guys, we can create complete presentation much faster with the help of chat GPT and PowerPoint designer in Microsoft Word. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to our channel to see more such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.